These five high schoolers are preparing for this Saturday's Central District Cross Country Race in Hilliard. This team from Linda McKinley is small but mighty. Now, Whetstone won last week's city championship. Linda McKinley plays second. And so, the coaches are digging through Linden's archives. They believe the team actually placing in a city cross country championship is a first in the school's history. And four runners made first team all city. 1928, that's when Linda McKinley opened its doors. Today, practice makes perfect. A five man cross country team trains for this and other sports. It helps me, like, my mental, and, like, helps me, like, be who I am. Pushing through the pain. You gotta love pain to love the sport. If you don't love pain, there ain't no gain. During Wednesday's practice, the team members reflected on last week's Columbus City Cross Country Championship. Shadmaki Ali, a junior, placed ninth. Jaquan Fox, a senior, 15th. I just love it. I've been doing this ever since I was young. Stop the finish line. Stop the finish line. Then there are the town's brothers. Phillips, a freshman, seventh place. During a race, I was up there, like in second, and uh, I caught a cramp. I caught two, actually. And, like, I was thinking of giving up, but I had to come through with my brothers to win, and I chose the best route. Christopher, a sophomore, came in sixth. I feel like um, cross country can like get me better at other sports. I feel like keeping me occupied keeps me positive in a positive environment. Their brother LB is a junior who came in third. The team has its sights set on Saturday, the district race in Hilliard. Hard working, I know days off, they're planning every day, no matter what happens. We just made something good and positive in the school and just showing that someone in Linden is doing something great and positive. Taking second place overall. Later on three, family on six, one, two, three, Linden, four, five, six, family. Restore order, baby. <laughs> Got that right. Two of the runners attend Linda McKinley. Two brothers go to Patriot Preparatory Academy. The other goes to Columbus Alternative High School, but they all run for their home school. And they are three of 19 siblings. Oh. Their dad has them running weekday mornings starting around 5.30. I can tell you this. Once you so, get them out of the house. You got to get them out, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, go run off some energy here. So the coaches, they've gone back about 30 years. They have not been able to find a team at Linden that placed in the city. Oh, that's great. It, it's so cool and interesting. Now, these kids, Colleen, I, I'm so excited and proud to meet them. We have a, an expiring architect. One wants to be an Olympic athlete. One says he wants to go into major in zoology. I'm like, oh, that's, oh, this, great. that's a great group of young men. Yeah. Both of my kids ran cross country. That's really a difficult. They're running over fields and yeah. jumping over creeks and up and down hills. And yeah. Good for I, I them. The kid, I ran cross country at Linden. No records. <laughs> yeah, so I was just going to say, and apparently no records were set years, yeah. during your time. Great that was a great story.